Welcome back to more of The Outer Worlds. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. Before we go talk to Phineas and give him the dimethyl sulfoxide, I think we need to talk Watch to Parvati. Yourself, Captain. The floor is wet. Sam recently mopped in here. I swear, next time we put in the groundbreaker, I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask her over. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm having trouble focusing on my work. Oh, you met that auto mechanical clanking around the ship yet? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad would say. Have you given him a nickname yet? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? All right, so we need to head back to the groundbreaker so she can ask June Lay over. If you don't mind my saying, you have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. It got your attention, at least. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A run-down backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. You walked through Edgewater, and in your wake transformed it from a loyal company town to a haven for dissidents. I'm actually a little impressed. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. You almost sound like you approve. Not always. For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. You should be back on the Hope frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. Hmm. How do you know I'm from the Hope? We raised security on the Hope after Wells broke in. As for discovering the identity of the missing colonist, all we had to do was scan the passenger manifest. You wanted to talk to me? Make your offer. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. How did you find my ship? There's exactly one vessel in all of Byzantium that looks like it dropped out of an aether wave drama. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Hmm. Okay. Wanted for what, exactly? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Well, I don't... Okay, so we can... Choose if we're going to work for the board. I think this is what this is. We can work for the board or we can work for Phineas. And the whole point of working for Phineas, he is a little crazy, but he's the only person that can get the other colonists of the Hope resuscitated. So why? Why would we join her? I mean, money, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep talking, though. You want me to sell him out. Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells's terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? 
Let's look at the journal. Do we have to do this? No. We can just give him the stuff. Yeah, why? If we want to work for the board, we have the option. But I don't think we would do that. Unless I'm missing something. Is, is Phineas really that crazy? Let's find out. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Oh, who are we taking? You think we're going to fight Phineas? No. Maybe we take Ellie and Sam. Yeah, why not? I don't think it matters. Hello, sir. I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Forget about the chemicals for a second. The colony's on the verge of collapse. Yeah, let's see what he says about this. What? Oh, yes, well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working lamps can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. It gets worse. The chairman's planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse, and the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. I found the chemicals, so we just don't have time. Human test subjects. Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. These are the chemicals I could get any more I would have killed the subjects. Damn, that's not enough. Not nearly enough for the whole ship. I could revive a handful of settlers. Maybe, possibly, you know, ten. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all, toss them out into space, just to make room in their hibernation chambers. We need to think about this. There has to be something we can do. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists... The brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. There's a way. It's not exactly safe, but we could skip the Hope into the system. Skip the hope into... Oh, like like fast travel or speed of light travel 
or something like that. Let's do it. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius. Thank you. We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. The hope's probably damaged. We'll have to route power from the unreliable. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? Experimental methods for killing noxious life forms are not covered under this unit's limited liability agreement. Well said, whatever you are. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. I've got some questions. Certainly. How can I help? Hmm. Should I expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Indeed. Uh, people aren't going to notice a gigantic colony ship slamming into the rings of Terra 2? Unlikely. The hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. Huh. I'm ready. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. The adjutant asked me to plan a tracking signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do it. You absolutely should. You, uh, <laughs> I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Sarcasm, the last refuge of the witless. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That should buy me some time. I get it. You want to prepare? The board's going to catch up to me sooner or later. This way I'll have time to set up some particularly nasty defenses. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. I wanted to talk about the hope. Certainly. How can I help? Oh, it's the same questions. Uh, that's all for now. So, sneak onto a lost colony ship and skip it across the system. What could go wrong? Sam, you have anything to add? Let's head back. Oh, wait, I need to... Uh, maybe... Is it in this room? Yeah, his communication terminal, which is... Over here. Ooh, I'm glad I remembered. Send corrupted tracking signal. Yep, 
that should do it, Phineas. Now let's get out of here. The real question is, what are we going to level up? Because we don't have... I mean, I don't know how much more game there is left. But the levels don't come that frequently. Do we go more Persuade? Do we get our lie up? Intimidate with Sam. Oh, okay. Having Sam and Ellie helps our lion intimidate. That's not bad. And these clothes, man. I don't know. I do want to do a little bit more science and engineering. I feel like with the stuff that we're about to do... Yeah, maybe maybe that's what I'll... I'll do. I'll do five of these and five of these. 101. You know what? Let's... Revert. And I'm looking at the green. So I'll get that to 100 and this to... 60 with Ellie in the party. Gotta remember that. Alright, and perks. Oh no, these are always so hard to choose. Weapon sway, critical hit... Carrying capacity, movement speed, improvised weapon damage, additional hits. I like this one. Is there anything about science weapons, though? Oh, thick skin. I like taking less damage. Oh, and we do have that um, flaw where we take more plasma damage. This might offset that, and we're going to be dealing with plasma damage people, I would assume, with those uh, board guys. Headshot kills explode. Okay, let's get thick skin. We're done. Let's get on board. Captain, I hope Doc you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Byzantium's a big place. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Now that did say that our reputation... Our... Oh, I think it's... Yeah, because we have positive and negative. Maybe the negative reputation was decreased. Board is neutral. The Groundbreaker loves us. Alright, so I think what we're doing... Let's make sure we're on the right quest. No, we're not going to go see her. I don't think we need to go see her. I think this is if we actually want to betray him. What we want to do is go to the Hope. We over here. We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. What's going to happen if I skip the hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Or the sun. That's it. 
Okay, who are we Sending taking? Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever, if I might say, Captain. Take someone to watch your back, please. It'll be Ellie. Sam is, is really good in a fight, I think. I, th I think we keep this the same. And he helps with Intimidate. I was going to take the Vicar because he's a hacker and he could help with our engineering, but I think we'll be okay, I hope. All right, let's get our Mind Control Ray where we headed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What does the map say we're looking for? We've got two different things. Auxiliary power station, patch route and auxiliary power source to supplement the UDL's O2 reactor, power status report, you archived logs. I think we we'll probably have to look at the logs. Power status. Save mode. Only life support. Alright. Maintenance. Nothing's being maintained. Hibernation. Looks fairly okay, except for storage bay 12. Logs. Manual log number L1. Longest trip down in I ever took was a week-long sojourn into the Silver Mountains. Ten years to reach Halcyon. Okay, so this is all... Before. Whoa, 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 whoa. Muting volume now. Quincy Duncan. You know, when they posted us here, I told them there wasn't any point. Nobody would be so stupid as to fly to the ass end of the colony for this derelict. Shows how much I know. You've got about five seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I make you take a walk outside. All right. Well, engineering and lie, uh, science and lie. Let's see what we like. We're good with all of these. Ooh, this might... The little thing on the side... I don't know what it is. I think it might be our companions. Something to do with our companions. Is that any way to treat a new hire? I was sent to repair the reactor so it doesn't explode and take the colony out with it. They sent me to extract a few samples from your uh, frozen cargo. It's gross. Let's do this one. I was sent to repair the reactor so it doesn't explode. Explode? Holy shit. All right. You'll want a uniform so my staff doesn't shoot you on sight. They're a dangerous mix of bored and trigger happy. We've got a few extra in the old badge station to my right. Good luck. The old badge station to his right. This? this? I'm presuming we need a ID card. Oh, here we go. I don't want to steal anything with that guy right there. Is there... Well, let's see where, where we're trying to go. Oh, was I supposed to do something here? I think I just looked at the logs. Let's take a quick... Oh, there's, there's another guy right there.
Yep, patch it. Let's there we go. We don't have to run in a hurry. So we could have snuck in there and gotten the ID without him seeing us. All right, fair enough. Is there um So we could take that ladder if we wanted. And that way we avoid the whole the whole sneaking about bit, or at least some of it. Okay, what we want is this way. Looking good, soldier. <laughs> Acrophobia after repeatedly falling from great heights. Uh, listen, dexterity, perception, and temperament all lose one just for a perk point. No thank you. It's too much loss. I would rather have it lose... Skill. Okay, so we got a few steps in. Let's look at the map. Yeah, we're just walking around. Unless... It gets more complicated. We were just up here, right? Alright, let's just see where this goes. And... All the way to the end, I think. So, sneak onto a lost cop colony ship and skip it across the system. What could go wrong? Do we? So is it is it more restricted? Nope. It's fine. I'm gonna make it. System. Logs. Oh, Phineas Wells. Uh, let's go with that. <laughs> Work continues on test subject one twelve. Retrieved from Hibernation Bay 8, time of extraction, oh, let's say two and a half hours ago, time of death, six minutes prior. Explosive cell death, my arch nemesis, haunting my every attempt. Okay. Real name Harley Stanton, age 39, enjoyed singing. I'm sorry, Harley, I couldn't save you. Aw, oh, man. Begin audio log as soon as I say the words begin audio log. <laughs> What a ridiculously inconvenient program. What happens if I just accidentally say the phrase audio log? Time to make the incision. Nothing nothing much there. But let's do this. Can you hear me, Captain? I have successfully integrated myself into the Error. Hope crew data not found. Identify yourself. This statement is false. Error. Paradox protection protocols have prevented me from registering your stated identification. Please report to your nearest mechanical engineer. Will do. We're fine. Alright, now where are we going? All the way there. All right, let's see. 
Where are the stairs? There's an elevator here that goes to here. Yeah, let's take that elevator. Don't get distracted. It's locked. Come on, please let me hope bridge key card. You know what? We're just going to do this. Oh, we're fine. We're amazing. We're doing great. I don't think we even need this gun. Okay, so what does this do? Let's... Ooh, do I want to use this? Let's do it. Um, we have 19 mag picks. You know what? Let's play it safe. Oh. here at the next area of the hope there's some more guys right there i think we're almost at the bridge but perhaps we'll have to do that next time guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed our time together we'll see what's on the hopes bridge in the next video take care